Um, I don't think I had an expectation of, of how I would have felt, but I think that, I guess I would say I feel pretty normal compared to other spring trainings that I've gone through in the past. Um, I feel like I'm bouncing back well from the days that I pitch, uh, you know, going through my routine the next four days and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, obviously that's encouraging. I think that, you know, at some point in spring, usually kind of go through that, that period where you kind of got to push through a couple, couple days of fatigue, things like that. And I'm sure that's coming, but, uh, so far, you know, everything feels good, both physically and recovery wise. Yep. We go next to Sweeney Murdy. Corey, what's it been like kind of comparing notes with um, with Garrett Cole, who likes to talk pitching a lot with you? Yeah, it's been fun. Um, you know, whether it's him talking to me about my stuff or vice versa, um, you know, I think there's been some good conversations there. Uh, you know, I think that it's it's productive to, to talk to other people about stuff. I think that, you know, it can – it can open your eyes to other things or make you think about something uh, in a different way than maybe you have previously. So, you know, I enjoy talking about pitching with other guys and I think it's, um, you know, the more you can do it throughout the season and facing other teams, especially, you know, teams within the division that you face all the time, uh, learn from each other, pick each other's brains, uh, whether it's Garrett or whether it's any of the pitchers. Um, you know, I think it's, it's definitely a productive thing to do. Is there anything that, you know, in the last few weeks as you've talked to, whether it's Matt Blake, Sam Breen, did any, any of the guys who are on that side of it, is there anything you've learned or just kind of discovered that could maybe influence how you develop here, or has it mostly just been about you getting back to what you were? Uh, I wouldn't say getting back to what I was, but I would say that maybe, um, you know, some things that I used to do, kind of what – what allowed me to do them and what we can do now to kind of try to, <clears throat> excuse me, to try to um, go down that road again. Um, you know, not necessarily trying to recreate what I was however many years ago, but just trying to, you know, pitch shapes, things like that, separation between different pitches. Um, I think it's just, it's, it's interesting to me, you know, all the all the different tools that they can show you, whether it's video or numbers or things like that, um, to look at all that stuff and kind of be able to compare and contrast, you know, if it was different, why it was different, this is why it was the same, that sort of stuff. And is there anything you're doing now that is in relation to keeping stamina for the long season after missing so much time, or is it mostly just about getting ready for the start of the season and making sure your, your pitches are how it could be for that part of the year? Yeah, I think honestly right now I'm just trying to get ready for the season. Um, you know, I think we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get there as far as, you know, whether it's, you know, controlling workload or whatever it is. Um, if, if that's something that they want to discuss, then I'm fine to discuss it. But in my mind right now, I'm just trying to go out there and, and prepare for the season and, you know, try to get myself as locked in as I can, uh, you know, whether it's executing pitches, whether it's the routine in between starts, um, just trying to make it as normal as possible and not try to think about the fact that I haven't, you know, thrown a lot in the last couple of years.